going to be the Vulcan best last season ever. Um, you know, how can we, you know, how can, what can we expect as we begin this new reboot into everything we've already known? I, it's sad to know that our show is ending, but when we were told why and how and what of it all, it, to me, the only thing I thought after my long, hard cry was, that is going to be so worth it. That ending is going to be so worth it. Yeah. I, um, you know, I, it, we're in a really interesting place where, you know, I think that the audience is ahead of some of the characters right now. And um, it's, uh, it's, 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 I just think it's, you can expect what you, what you could expect every other season, which is, you know, for the rug to be ripped out from under you at some point, you know, <laughs> and... And to walk away with a little life lesson. Yeah. Can you tease a happy ending between Eleanor and Chidi? I know last season kind of ended on a heartbreaking note. Can you say anything about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> or what you hope. <laughs> Um, I know I personally would love to just be paired up with Kristen Bell in everything I do for the rest of my days. So, um, you know, there's real there's real love here, but you know, as for the show, I mean, you have to, you have to watch this that. This will happen again for sure, because Will and I will will make it happen. But um, but I think that you know Mike has definitely made it clear that these two characters are not a perfect match and that is why they are perfect together. They are not matching puzzle pieces, they are not identical twins, they challenge each other and they balance each other and they make each other grow and those are kind of the best kind of people. So I think that's been a sort of established as the, the undercurrent of the show so I don't think you can expect them to be ripped apart or find new loves but you will see um, the conclusion of their journey. Being a well, you know, the couple of you guys are just so iconic. Um, and of course, like, you know, with the country of you guys from the good place. But what do you think your characters individually would do, let's say, if Chidi was in Midsummer? Or if Eleanor was in Veronica Mars' How do you think that would go? Eleanor get blasted in the face by Veronica Mars so quickly, <laughs> yeah. she, her head would spin off. Yeah. One last question, yeah. Being at Comic Con, uh, for me the answer is Luke Skywalker. But when you were a kid, is there a character that you aspired to be? Um, I was a uh, Han Solo, actually. I, I just, and it's really less about like him being a swashbuckling, like swaggerific guy. It was more that he just could tuck his uh, his pants into his boots, and I thought that was a dope look. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and but you know, it's the little things. It's a little, it's a little. I gotta you appreciate. Know? Yeah, yeah. And for you? Oh God, um, I wanted to be Aladdin really bad when I was a, a little girl. When there was a, a, I loved Disney movies. I loved animation, and I uh, Aladdin the street rat who got all his wishes. That was that was who I wanted to be. Awesome. Thank you guys. So much. Thank you. Thank you.